Define an STL file. STL is an abbreviation for stereolithography. It's a file format that's very common to CAD software. It's widely used in things like rapid prototyping, 3D printing, additive manufacturing, CAM or computer-aided manufacturing. It's thought that the STL is believed to be from the abbreviation of the word stereolithography, taking the ST and the L from lithography. Oh, but some people think it is references standard triangle language or standard tessellization languages. So really what an STL file is a surface geometry of a 3D object. There's nothing on the inside. It's just on the on the surface. There is no color. And it what it does is it tessellates or divides up the 3D model into tiny triangles. We look here and you can see that we have very small triangles, right? So um, when I zoom in, you can see that each one of these are a small triangle. So everything's broken up into a triangle. These triangles are called facets. And so typically we could take like a, a cube and a cube has six sides. And so if we broke it into triangles, we'd have 12 triangles. And so we can take the most complicated shape and tessellate it down to various triangles. So an STL file format has uh, two different ways of storing the information in the file. Uh, first is the coordinate of the vertices. The vertices is the corners of the triangle. So there's three corners of, of for every triangle. So it records those vertices. And then it also keeps track of the normal vector. The normal vector is a vector that points from the center of the triangle pointing outwards away from the 3D model. So it lets you know which way is out, if you will, on the triangle. So we end up then with an STL file. This STL file then, it has the file extension of an STL file. Uh, I'm going to open this with a 3D viewer and you can see that this STL file, when I open up with a 3D viewer, it uh, just shows the 3D object. It, so we don't, in this particular viewer, we don't see all the triangles, uh, but in some programs where we turn the wireframes on, we can see those interior um, triangles. So this just builds the geometry of a 3D object on the surface and allows us then to be sent an STL file to a 3D printer uh, because a 3D printer uses the STL files to build its 3D printed objects.